Greetings YouTubers, well as you can see I've downloaded Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and I haven't actually used Microsoft Flight Simulator since I had the Flying Club which was in 1999 so that's nearly 25 years ago and obviously it's evolved in its ways since then and uh, it's not easy to use you know I've, it, one of the things I liked about X-Plane was that you can um, configure it really fast, you know, when you go in. And uh, if you want to sit in the cockpit and look forward, you just press W and it's like, boom, you're there. Whereas with this, when you get in the cockpit, the view scans to the ceiling. And you're looking at the ceiling in the, in the air cab, it's a 172 he starts you off with. and the, There's no sign of where the views are. And then you figure out that views are called camera. Okay, and so, uh, so if you go to resume, and there I am, I'm steering at the ceiling, and then the mouse doesn't work, there's no function on the mouse, so you can't get rid of this menu or click or anything, and if you, you have to press these buttons to look out the front of the cockpit, but the minute you let go of the thing, it looks back at the ceiling. I'm thinking, well, how do I set how do I set it to be looking forward out the windscreen? You know, I can't fly from outside. I don't. It's great at doing outside views and panning around, but I don't want to fly the aeroplane from outside. I want to be in the cockpit. I want to be looking at the instruments. And I want to configure my controllers so that all my different things are there where I want them. And uh, this is one of the ways X-Plane won out really well. I mean really well. Because um, it was so easy to do, you, there's menus at the top, and you just say like, configure controllers, bum, 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 bum. Uh, which buttons do you want to do what, bum, 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 bum. super cool, done, and then you assign views to the joystick, so I can look around on the on the top of the joystick, I can look left, look right, and then when you're in VR, it's even better, because it's wherever you turn your head, isn't it? So it's great. But I'm I'm. Not new to flight simulators. I've been doing flight simulators for a long time, but this is not easy to, to, to get your head around. Not at all. I dare say there's millions of kids out there laughing at me, saying, "Yeah, silly old fool. It's dead easy. Look, you just do this." Ding. Oh, is it? Is it that easy? Right. Okay. So I'm still struggling with it. I'm still haven't had a single flight in it yet. So I haven't managed to get in the cockpit and look out the window. Because <laughs> once you've got there, you can click on things and start the engine and stuff like that, you know, and then you can go for a fly. But I haven't even got that far because it's just not that good. I did try to download DCS. Years ago, I fancied DCS. I fancied, uh, what's that other one? IL2, something like that, you know, Cliffs of Dover and stuff. And that. Uh, I, uh, downloaded them, bought them off the internet, downloaded them, and uh, no, you got a free version of DCS, you had to buy IL2, and again, configuring the controllers was just so difficult, I just fucked it off in the end, and um, I'm determined to figure out how to get this to work, so, uh, maybe I should get some young kids in to fucking show me how it's done. I'll wait till my son gets home, He's, uh, he'll probably be able to do it, but I, I'm lost, honestly, I'm, I'm just thinking, well, what the fuck, surely to God, the first thing you should do is program the fucking controllers and the views, and it should be dead simple to do, click here, waggle your joystick around, press this, boom, done, views, which, which, which buttons you want for your views, this one, no, oh no, 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 Fucking menu after menu of bullshit. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with it. Not at all. So far. Not at all. Okay, now here I am in the cockpit. Okay, and I can I can press this button and I can get the instrument panel up. Look. But the minute I let go of the instrument panel, I'm staring at the ceiling again. And how how the fuck do you get it to just stay looking out the window? I want to go for a fly. I can't be staring at the ceiling the whole time, can I? And it says reset view, and I've tried pressing that, and it does. It just resets it to the ceiling. So I don't know how 
to do it. I really don't. Reset position. Down. This goes back up. Camera view. That's free look, that's fixed look, it's still in the same place. Oh goodness sake. Now the mouse has disappeared so I can't click on anything. Free cam, let's go to resume. And there we are with no uh, no mouse. Staring at the ceiling. Escape. It's, I've got to go, it's got to be in camera somewhere, camera, camera, where's camera there? Zoom function, focus mode, smart camera, it's not very fucking smart is it? Cockpit camera selection, wide angle, free look mode, heads up mode, how's about view? View! Fucking piece of shit. I mean, you've got to go to university and do a three-year degree to fucking work out how to work this fucking thing. By that time, you could have become an airline pilot. Fuck's sake. Horizontal position. What does what will that do? Uh, save and back. Resume. No, still staring at the ceiling. Horizontal position. Instrument, what does that do? Oh, I've got no mouse now. Got to escape to there. So you see with the frustration of it, you know, it's, it's just... I'm tempted just to go back to explain and just fuck it all off. And I don't even like explain. <laughs>